Welcome to another moment of Tiki. Uh, here celebrating our one year anniversary. It is hard to believe that uh, April of 2020 marked the first uh, episode I threw together of A Moment of Tiki and here we are a year later and I'm still doing more. So that's, you know, kind of mind blowing as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> I'm coming to you today Coming to you today, not from the Lagoon of Mystery, my home tiki bar, but rather my uh, disheveled and disorganized office, I realized that I have uh, shown uh, quite a few episodes on how to build things from scratch to decorate your uh, tiki space, but no tiki space, well very few at least, are built totally homegrown from scratch. Uh, a lot of the elements that go into making a tiki bar, a tiki space, tiki room in your own home, uh, are acquired. And that's what I'm looking to do today. Uh, I received a small uh, royalty statement um, for a book I published a few years ago and the chief financial officer of the Lagoon of Mystery, aka my wife, uh, informed me that that resulted in a modest uh, surplus of a few hundred dollars that I could use to look for a bar for the upstairs tiki space that we are slowly uh, fitting out. So. I did what I normally do and go straight to uh, Craigslist. I have several alerts set up on Craigslist. Uh, one for bamboo, one for rattan, one for tiki, you know, kind of very broad categories. And although the Craigslist uh, findings here in Central Texas are not as uh, plentiful or as elaborate as those that can be found in, say, California, uh, we do get some occasional treasures crop up. Uh, I have a fantastic looking bamboo lamp, lamp that's hanging outside in Lagoon of Mystery and also the rattan aquarium that uh, I got several years ago. found that one in San Antonio. But for this, I want to look online and see if there are any appropriate bars that can go into the space upstairs. <clears throat> now, I came across this one, Retro Rattan Apartment Tiki Bar. It was posted uh, you know, several weeks ago. And it is pretty impressive looking. It's a small bar, but we don't need a large bar for the space we have upstairs. It kind of has a mid-century modern shag, Whitgo-esque look to it. There's a little bit of damage uh, from cat scratching on the fabric front cover, but I think we could deal with that, get it replaced. All in all, it's a attractive bar and it fits within the price range that I have. So we shall see if it is still available. Well, good news, the Tiki Bar is still available and the seller has accepted my offer for it. So it looks like I will be making a road trip up to Austin this evening. You folks are welcome to ride along. Let's go. Okay, when you are uh, fishing in the Craigslist waters for tiki, if you live in an area where there is not a lot of naturally occurring tiki objects or artifacts, you have to learn to be optimistic. Uh, you have to learn to be opportunistic. You have to be patient and willing to wade through 100 uh, false alerts that have almost nothing to do with tiki 
in order to find that one that is tangentially related to tiki and you have to go through maybe a hundred of those before you find something that hey this is kind of interesting i may or may not be interested in it and uh, another hundred of those before you find something that is a genuine steal and you're able to go online and brag to all your friends on what a great find you just had uh, it takes patience it takes determination and stick to itiveness and the sad thing is you're going to miss out sometimes uh, sometimes there are really great things that other people are going to beat you to uh, you just have to keep with it and be persistent and eventually you'll come up with some pretty good scores that's my advice for craigslist shopping good luck so here we have it, back home, safe and sound. A rather large, small tiki bar that just barely fit into the space. Hey, a quick interruption for all of y'all before we get to the uh, wrap up of the video. I did not film the uh, interactions I had with the people selling uh, this bar here. Uh, I didn't tell them in advance and they were nice folks, but I didn't feel right just springing a camera and video and everything on them right away. So I just uh, made the transaction there and brought the desk home. Secondly, since uh, I picked it up, I've done some research online. Uh, the uh, This is Tiki Mid-Century Modern Group on Facebook is a treasure trove of information and thanks to everyone out there. I now know that this was uh, manufactured by Krypton, a company out of Fullerton, California in the uh, 2000s, uh, they, early 2000s, they made two separate batches of these. Um, both were sold by Tiki Farm, both were sold, direct, sold directly by uh, Krypton. Uh, the second batch has uh, kind of a red uh, palm leaf pattern on it, and this is one of the earlier ones. The front was designed uh, by Bosco, the, uh, the carving here. So some really cool information. Uh, the last ones were sold around 2012 or so. So this has been out of print, unavailable for a while but it's uh, kind of a modern classic, I suppose. So that's where we are, and that's where we're gonna go. Now, back to the program. Well, so here it is. It's, uh, <clears throat> it needs a, bit of needs a bit of restoration. Bamboo has gotten a little bit of exposure. The fabric has been uh, clawed buy some cats. Um, it's got some wear and tear on it. Uh, it's about 20 years old or so, but uh, I'm up for the challenge. I think it's a pretty cool design. It's got the Whitco-esque front mask on there, and I'm looking forward to restoring this, uh, maybe including a few upgrades. But, you know, that's going to have to wait for another episode because it's late tonight and I'm getting a little tired, so until next time on Moment of Tiki from the Lagoon of Mystery, aloha.